Welcome to Addicted to Real Estate TV. On today's episode, I'm going to lay out for you what I call a real deal. So stick around. I've got some good stuff for you. To say you got to know somebody or know somebody to give somewhere these days. To say you know that's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Hi, I'm Phil Falcone, your host of Addicted to Real Estate TV. Today's episode is sponsored by Executech Suites Green Screen Studio. Have you ever wanted to make a video or your own web TV show? Well, if you do, you want to give Executech Suites a call at the phone number above or the website below. And for a couple hundred dollars, you can be making yourself some excellent videos for your business to host on your website, to email to your friends, to put on social media, and maybe even have your own web TV show. So give them a call at the phone number above or the website below. All right, so today's episode, we're going to talk about a real deal. In my meetings, the, uh, I have my own meeting I call it the Real Estate Assembly Line. And in that meeting, uh, the real estate assembly line meeting, I constantly talk about a real deal. What's a real deal? Okay, When you've been in this business for a long enough time, you start to figure out what deals really kick butt. And a lot of investors out there, they, I don't think they push themselves, they don't challenge themselves enough to find what I call a real deal. So I just recently did a deal this week, uh, just a couple days ago, and I'm going to lay it out for you. I'm going to show you some pictures of it, and I'm going to lay out the whole deal for you, okay? So why don't we get started with it? This deal is in Lansdale, PA. So uh, we went down there to look at the, look at the house, and uh, the guy owns the house free and clear, and the property is worth uh, approximately two fifteen, according to his own estimation. So um, he owns the house free and clear, and if you don't know this, if you haven't watched these episodes before, free and clear house is uh, a bell, man. A bell should be ringing off in your head. That means seller financing, okay? You're going to ask this guy to become the mortgage company for you, and he's going to finance the entire deal for you. So what we did was we, uh, we offered him a three-tier concept, okay? Tier number one, which is the deal that we were hoping to get the most, was he asked for two fifteen for the house. We came to him and said, we're going to give you uh, 229000 That's right. You're not hearing things. I actually offered him more than his house was worth. I offered him more than the retail value of his house, okay? And 229 was uh, basically what it meant was I'm giving him no money down. He's paying his closing costs. I'm paying mine, which would have cost me roughly about $5,000. So $5,000 out of my pocket, that would be it to pick up this deal. And uh, what I get for it is uh, he is going to take payments of $750 a month right, until the 229000 is paid off. And that $750 a month is uh, a 0% interest loan. Okay, I'm just going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to explain to the guy that here's what I'm doing. You wanted $229,000. i am going to give you seven fifty a month until the thing's paid off. And sometimes when you, you suggest that, I don't come out and say it's a 0% interest loan, but they figure it out pretty quickly. What interest rate are you paying me? I said, I'm not paying you any interest rate. I mean, you're not lending me any money. Uh, you're, you're giving me a house, and I'm going to make payments to you. I'm buying your house. You asked me to buy your house. That's what I'm doing. If he wanted an interest payment, I'd tell him that, uh, you know, hey, we, we pay interest to uh, individuals who lend us money. You actually bring a check to a settlement. And we'll pay interest on that, and some, somewhere around 7-8% is what we generally pay. And uh, we have a program for that, so if you want to become one of our private investors, we can help you with that. But in this particular case, we are trading a house for income. All right? And uh, so that was one of the deals that I offered him. The other deal I offered him was a, a full cash offer, which was essentially 40 cents on the dollar, 40% of 215. That was his cash offer, end of story. Okay? He... So, and the third offer I made was a combination of the two. Right? He decided to go with the combination of the two. So, what's that mean? After discussing with him what he needed money for, uh, he needed a little above $40,000. The figure was like $41,500 or something. So, we'll, call, we'll just call it forty grand to keep the math easy. He wanted forty grand in cash down, all right? And he wanted me to pay his closing costs as well as mine. So call it five grand on each side, whatever. I got 50 into the deal, right? 
So I got $50,000 into the deal. So what I did was I agreed to give him the 215 for the, or uh, 207. He wanted 215, we ended up on 207. We're gonna give him 207. I, I'm not so worried about the price when there's seller financing involved, okay? And when you hear this deal, you'll understand why. So um, but since I was giving him 40 grand cash up front, uh, I wanna make payments to him on seller financed uh, note. But I got to keep that payment small now because it's my tenants who are actually going to pay this, right? I'm going to take this house. I'm going to rent it out. And you can see all the pictures behind me. You can see what kind of house I'm talking about here. My tenants are going to be paying the rent. Now, I figure uh, $14.95 a month is a good rent. Maybe, uh, maybe that's even a little low. It might even be a $6.95 uh, a month rent. Right now, I'm actually testing the market to find out what I can get for it. By testing, I mean I, I got it up for rent. And... Uh, I've got it up for rent at multiple prices, and I'm, I'm just seeing what I can get for it. And if any of you listeners out there uh, you know, know somebody's looking to rent a house in Lansdale, if it's still available, uh, give me a call or send me an email, and uh, you know, I'll give you 800 bucks if you, if you find me a tenant. So uh, I, I blasted that out a few days ago on my, uh, on my email list. So that's something to look into. But back to the offer. So what he wanted was he wanted 40 grand down plus the closing costs. There's 50 grand, okay? But I, the payments on the, I went to a private lender and I actually borrowed 65000 So my payments on the 65000 was 7.5% interest and, uh, for a five-year term. And it's interest-only payments and my payment's going to be roughly $350 a month. So I told the seller that you know, because I'm paying $350 a month to this guy, uh, the only thing that I can do with you is uh, give you $250 a month. So at $250 a month, he agreed to that. I'm giving him an additional $3,000 a year, and it's going to be a 10-year note with the seller financed. 10-year note. So in 10 years, I got a balloon. I got to sell the house or refi the house or pay the guy off one way or another. Okay. So now I got my $350 private investor who's getting 7.5% interest on his money, $350 a month. I got a $250 seller finance note. So now my grand total mortgage payments are $600 a month. You take the taxes and insurance, you throw them in, ballpark this house is costing me about $900 a month. Right? This is a beautiful deal for me because first of all, the house is in excellent condition, as you can see from the pictures. It's a very marketable house with five bedrooms, brand new carpets. It's got a two-car garage that's separate from the house. It's got a huge backyard. You can put a pool, trampoline. You can park extra cars out there. You, uh, the garage doors are, are brand new. It's in a great neighborhood in Lansdale on the east side of town, which is definitely the most desirable part of town. So think about this. I'm getting, I'm getting even at $14.95, I'm getting $600 a month cash flow. Plus, I'm getting $250 a month in principal pay down. Okay, Th this is an excellent deal, an excellent deal. I use none of my own money. And essentially what I did was I got paid to buy this house. Now out of the extra 15 grand, because I told you I borrowed 65,000 of the private lender, out of the extra 15 grand, I, I'm throwing five grand in a bank, okay, for carrying costs and if the roof leaks or anything like that. And then I took the remaining 10 grand, I split it with my partner. And if you've watched any of my previous episodes, what I call that is wholesaling to yourself. Wholesaling to yourself. I just borrowed a little extra from my private investor. And incidentally, my private investor is in first position. First position. The seller is in second position, okay? And the, the, the way that I was able to do that was I just explained to the seller that you're asking me for a, a large sum of money. I, I, I get that from private investors. There's no way a private investor is going to do it any other way but to be in first. So my seller's in second. My private's in first. Now, everybody's happy on this deal, okay? This guy was trying to sell this house for a while. He couldn't sell the house. Not exactly sure why it's a nice house, but he couldn't sell it, and that's all that matters. He, he was ready to get out of Dodge, and he came into the store and said, but please buy my house, okay? So here you go. The seller's happy because he gets out of town. He needed 40 grand right now. We gave him that 40 grand. We were able to settle quickly, so the seller's happy. I'm certainly happy. It's a beautiful deal, especially if it rents at the $16.95 a month, which is now the price I'm marketing it at. If I can do that, That'll be $800 a month in cash flow and $250 a month in principal pay now. It's an amazing deal. All right? My private investor is thrilled because he's getting 7.5% interest only on his money and 
uh, he's in first position. So he, he, he lent me $65,000 on a $215,000 house. He's roughly in it for, you know, what, what, what is that, like 27% or something. So he's got an LTV of 27%. He's completely safe. I'm thrilled. Right, so let's fast forward. Let's take this deal. We'll fast forward 10 years. And 10 years from now, um, I still owe uh, 207000 minus the seventy grand that I paid the seller because I gave him $40,000 down. I gave him $3,000 a year for 10 years. That's so $70,000. Right, so I owe uh, 137 to the seller, and I still owe the 65 uh, uh, to uh, the private investor. So I basically owe almost uh, what the house is worth today. You know, I owe I owe the 207 on it. So at the two o at at that number, you have to ask yourself first of all, if it's been cash flowing like crazy, plus all that principal pay down, and uh, what also is going to happen is what do you think a house is going to be worth 10 years from now? I mean, I think the chances of it being significantly higher than it is today is certainly there, uh, considering that by my estimations, uh, the real estate market began to decline on Labor Day weekend of 2005. That's right, Labor Day weekend of 2005. And if you want to read about my theory on how that is, that Labor Day weekend is a pivotal moment in real estate values, you want to read my book, Addicted to Real Estate, Why I Can't Stop, and why you should start. And uh, this is a book that should be in your hands. But back to my Lansdale deal. Ten years from now, let's just say the house is worth uh, 350000 which I think is a reasonable expectation because I expect uh, after we get uh, Barack Obozo out of the White House, uh, I think things are going to change in this country. And hopefully by 2013, 2014, we're going to start to see an upward rise in real estate values. That's why it's so important to buy now. Buy as much as you can right now. And with Barack Obozo gone and real estate values beginning to rise, 10 years from today would put me at uh, 2021. And I think it's a very realistic thing to, to expect to be able to get $350,000. So let's think about that. I got paid to buy the house, right? You want to talk about no money down deals. I did this deal for no money down, I got, and I got paid to buy the house. Okay? Tell me how many investors you know who can pull that off. All right? I also am going to be up somewhere around $150,000 in equity 10 years from now on a house that's cash flowing like crazy. All the hell I got to do with that, but I could sell the house if I want to. I could refi the house. I could 1031 it into a commercial property. Most likely what I'll do is I'll just go you know, refi with another private investor or or uh, you know, maybe I'll go get a conventional loan. Who knows what the hell I'm going to do. By that point, uh, the mortgage payments are going to be consistent you know, and the rents are going to be even higher. So it could be cash loan, $1,200 a month by then. This is a, a terrific deal. And the reason I want to lay it out for you is because I want people, to, uh, want people to understand that there's some great deals out there. Okay, so when you find a deal that you think is a real deal, but you're not quite confident enough in your ability to close the deal or you don't have the contracts and you just don't feel like you're ready to close a deal like this don't forget to call your buddy Phil okay I'll come in I'll work with you on the thing maybe you pay me to help you close it maybe I buy it and I pay you for the lead or maybe we become partners on it you never know what can happen so make sure you think of me when you find an opportunity you can always email me some pictures or some details about the house and I'll tell you what I think about it maybe we can end up helping each other let's go out there and make some money let's get out there and get busy buying real estate don't forget to put your name and email address in on the front page of my website and don't forget to pick up a copy of my book and I will see you out there in the real estate world beating the street I'm Phil Falcona thanks for watching this message